you either go back to the 80s, it tastes like crap, so it must be good for you, or it just tastes like crap, I'm not going to read it. So it's, it's, giving, it, it's enticing people to what you've got for the value you can give them. When, we, when me and Ollie got together, the idea was Ollie said I wanted 10 new clients for January. I thought it would be a bit of a struggle, you know. It was, you know, the credit crunch, uh, people paying their credit card bills in September of Christmas. There was a massive countdown, literally, from the, first, the second week in, in December, we started talking about it. There's lots of stuff coming. We, 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 we annoyed the, the Christmas army because we were saying, you know, only four more days, only three more days, only two more days, and everyone's like, you've got your days out, so Christmas is on the 25th. It's like, God, forget Christmas, we've got something far more exciting coming. And then bang, we went on the 26th. So we had a little bit of banter with people on, on Twitter and on social, and then we went with it, and then literally it was a client a day for the like first seven days. Yeah. And then by day nine, I think we had think nine we had clients. About, like, 16 by the end of the month, something like that. No, we hit, well, we hit 10, definitely, yeah. and I said to stop. But what we then did was, I, you know, the suggestion was, you've got these 10, you've got these 10 people, give them value, okay? Because they've just paid for that, you've given them a good offer, you've given them a good discount, give them value. In return, you ask them to just give you one positive tweet a day. So if they're 10 people, but it's 10 tweets a day, all you've got to do is reply, press retweet. There's 20. And then you've got all of the other people who are seeing this, maybe friends of theirs who have been suggested, maybe me, maybe the marketing PR company, we comment, press the retweet button, that 20 then goes to 40. So it's get 40 tweets there, and you're not having to do anything for it other than just provide that value and service you've been given. Yeah. I really would get your marketing up and running now. You need to look at you as a brand, okay? Before I set up a business page on LinkedIn, okay, it was all about me, because I'm the bloke who runs a business, I'm the bloke who knows everything about my business, I'm the, I'm the bloke that everyone's gonna to talk to for my business. You know, there's no other salesman in my business other than me. Because I want that personal relationship with people. I want people to know actually they can pick up the phone, they can talk to me, they can tweet me, they can text me. Um, you really would focus on your personal brand of being that go-to person because it will add so much more weight to your business. When, when you say that, what sort of things, things do you mean posting-wise? So if, you, or... if you're on LinkedIn, how could you see so you've added loads of directors, you've had loads of people in the fitness industry, you've added loads of people, so I know coaches locally and, and maybe people in business, businessmen. Give them value. Share a post that, it might be a blog post that Ollie's put out about macros. It might be something about, you know, the, the 10 worst, you know, protein flavors, you know. Who, who likes peanut butter? Who likes, you know, the cookie mix by yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so Give them some, some stuff that's interesting, so it's entertaining, it's engaging, educational or inspiring. If you can entertain someone, they'll watch and they'll turn on to you. If you can educate someone, give them some value, they're going to watch and they're going to tune in. If you can inspire someone, they're going to go to you. you know? It's all of these different things.